Welcome back to 101 Sports, where I'm now joined by Preston Willett and Julian Council to discuss some of the hottest college football teams in America. So let's talk about Florida State to start this off. Now that they've beaten Miami and Clemson, does Florida State deserve to be number one over Alabama? No, no, I'm sorry. They, uh, it's Julian. No, I mean, Florida State, okay, right now, the ACC is rated by ESPN Power Rankings as a fourth best conference, and they're behind the Big Ten. That's ridiculous. Like, the Big Ten is terrible. And Florida State, yes, they had the most impressive win against Clemson, and they beat Miami this weekend. But they both both of them. neither, but neither of those teams are that good. No, but who did Alabama beat? They beat Texas A&M. The we, they were ranked 117th in total defense in the country when they beat them. What then. have they shown for them not to be number one? They've been dominant. Dominant I'm just saying, if, Flo- if, only ten, if Clemson and Miami are considered some of the best teams in the NCAA this year and Florida State has just destroyed them, then why aren't they number one? Alabama has not done anything since Texas A&M. They're gonna, they, you're letting them get away with <laughs> Colorado State. Georgia State. Why are we letting them get away with this? Why does because Alabama are, get this week's schedule? They're the schedule? champs. They have proved they've done nothing to show that they're not the best team. I care less about what they did last year. I'm I, all about I, the present, they man. They will show you I this honestly, weekend why they're number one. I honestly one. think that Florida State, Oregon, or Alabama could be number one. Uh, honestly, really, I yeah. would be totally yeah. satisfied. But let's matter. continue to talk about Oregon. Pretty big night Thursday night. we got two huge games. Oregon versus Stanford. Let's start off with that game. Will the Cardinal ruin Oregon's perfect season? No, not a chance. And I mean, it seems like everything. Not a chance. Not, no. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it'll, I, I, I'll give it. It'll be a good game. It'll be a good game. But everything's set up for Stanford to come in there and pull the uh, – yeah, I mean, for Stanford to beat Oregon. Exactly. That's but why they, they're going to beat but Oregon. But they won't. Like weekend. DeAnthony's comments about no, how the, they're going to destroy them. No. No, they're not going to put up 40 points on them. See, the past t- couple weeks that Stanford's played against UCLA and Oregon State, they have shut down some of the best co- quarterbacks in college football. Brett Hundley looked terrible against them throwing two picks. But they, Sean Mannion, they haven't Sean shut, Mannion had not thrown less than 350 yards down, all season. They haven't shut down the best quarterback them. in college football. They're playing though. on the farm. This it's is the best be quarterback huge in college win for Stanford. football. Stanford this is the best. Him. There's no Mariota it will make mistakes. He hasn't made a mistake. Oh, you're yeah. Stanford's defense. Then why, is start, to make why is he going to start now? They're going to get the pressure on him, and they're going to be able to stop him. Eight sacks against Oregon State. He's just going to run around him. He's just going to run circles around Stanford. This is obviously one. Of the game, it's one of the huge games to watch on Thursday. Another huge game. Oklahoma travels to Baylor. If Baylor wins, are they a legit BCS contender? I mean, first off, you got to congratulate you know, Art Brazel. He's done down there in Waco, Texas. Yes, they are, but they're going to need some help. I mean, they got Ohio State up there. He's on the This is the time player. for teams to lose. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's November. Yeah. Ohio State, I think, probably won't lose until Michigan State if they play them in the Big Ten Championship game. And then Oregon Stanford could, but, could lose this week. But weekend. can they hang but, with a team like an Alabama, yeah. like an Oregon? Yeah, they, I mean, they can put up points. They're but the thing is, they're not going to get the help that they need. Because right now, you're looking at Florida State. who has one more tough game against Florida, if you call that a tough game anymore, how they've looked this year. Yeah. Bama's got LSU coming up. That's pretty much all they have left. Oregon, Stanford this weekend. I think Oregon State is going to be a pretty tricky one. And then Ohio State's just going to sweep through the rest of their schedule. So they're just not going to get the help they need. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Baylor can put up the ridiculous amount of points that they've been putting up against these lesser teams against a better defense mm-hmm. like Oklahoma. Yeah. We will absolutely be hearing from the two of you next week after the crazy weekend of college football ahead. But stick around. Coming up next, Jake takes a trip to the lounge with our MLB experts.